Okay, you've joined the Snipe Algo team. Welcome to winning. Now we need to get your charts set up, so let's walk through that together. I'm going to walk you through it on a computer, though you can set up your charts on any type of device. You'll need TradingView, of course, and Snipe Algo. And we're going to walk you through exactly how to set up your charts on both the SPY and then the SPX. I'll show you how to open a chart, set the time frame, Choose the correct ticker, make sure you've got the right kind of candles, set your time zones, and lastly, we'll add your Snipe Algo indicators. All right, let's get to it. Okay, here we are in a trading view chart. Let's start from scratch and go through all of the steps. So we'll press the plus button. Up pops a new tab. We're going to create a new chart. We'll click New Chart. And now here we are starting from scratch. Of course, it's using the symbol that I last had open. So what we'll do is we'll go up here to the top. We'll click in there one time, and we'll get to our symbol search bar. We're going to search for SPY, S-P-Y. S-P-Y. Now look at all of the choices. It's important that you select the correct SPY that corresponds with the one we use at Snipe Algo. It's the very first one. SPDR. And you can see that it's the New York Stock Exchange. Make sure you select this SPY and up pops your chart. Now, it's also imperative that you use the one minute chart. The way to select your time frame is here, one minute. Lastly, it's very important that you use standard candles, which is what should always happen when you start a new chart. However, we've had some folks somehow make the changes to different types of candles and that will defeat the algo. So make sure you're using the standard candles when you open a new chart. That's very important as well. Okay, it's just that simple. We've got the SPY chart, one minute time frame, normal candles. Okay, and let's add our indicators. So the way to do that is we go to indicators here, click on it, and you'll go down to your invite only scripts to find Snipe Algo. Now for my purposes, I've already marked them as favorites and here are the three Snipe Algo indicators. Again, you'll be looking for them under invite only scripts once you've subscribed to Snipe Algo. So we've got the SPY chart open. So we'll go find the SPY, Snipe Algo SPY version seven. Of course, if you're watching this years later or even months later, our version numbers may be higher. I'll click on it. And it could take a moment, but we should see SPY pop up. Let's take a look. There it is. We know we've got it installed now. There's our dashboard. And look at that, we can already see, wow, what a winner it picked. Yesterday was an absolute banger. We made several hundred percent, as I recall. That's it. You're all set. You've got your SPY chart, your one minute time frame. You've added your indicator, and you've got the SPY algo. Now, just while we're here, we can go ahead and take a look at your settings. And here is where you go to play with colors, the location of where you can put your dashboard. For example, it's at the top right now. You can move it to the bottom left if you'd like to match the way I put it on the live stream. And you can change the size whatever you'd like to do. You can also change all of the colors of all of your graphs and charts and have lots of fun playing with everything. That's it, you've set up your SPY. To set up your SPX chart, let's just repeat the process. It's very, very simple. We'll create a new chart, create new chart, and Go here to select SPX this time. Oh boy, lots of SPX choices again. Make sure you select the very first one, the index CFD. This is the only SPX you ever want to be using. Click it, and look at that. We've changed right here. We're now the S&P 500 index SPX. Remember, one minute time frame standard candles. So how do we add the indicators? Once again, we go to the indicator. You'll go to your invite only scripts. I've already marked it as a favorite. And if you're doing the morning SPX, you'd select the AM. If you're doing the 
afternoon SPX, you'd select the PM. So let's add our SPX AM to the chart. One click, click the X, give it a moment to load, and there it is. Snipe Algo SPX AM is loaded on your chart. And look at that, another big winner yesterday. Amazing. It's just that easy. Now you're ready to go. You've set up your SPY chart, your SPX chart. Again, that's your AM. You can add another chart and, of course, add your PM as well. Okay, but Rick, I'd like to see both the SPY and the SPX on one chart. How do I do that? Ah, I'm glad you asked. It's easy. Let's start a fresh chart again. New tab, create new chart. We'll just start with the SPX because that's what's already there. Over here, let's split our chart. Look at all the options you have, by the way. If you look at our live stream, you can see that we split it up into four. But for these purposes, just to look at the morning signals, why don't we split the SPY and the SPX onto one chart like this? Top and bottom. Let's keep the SPX at the top. SPX, one minute, correct candles, we're good. At the bottom, we also have SPX. We'll need to change that to SPY, right? So going up here and changing these settings, first you have to be in the chart you want to change. So you'll notice this is highlighted in blue. I would be changing the settings up top. If I come down here and highlight this part in blue, I'd be changing the settings at the bottom. So I'll make sure this is highlighted, come back up here, and I'll change this to the SPY. Remember, it's important we use the very first one, right? New York Stock Exchange. Now, if I did it right, you'll see I've got SPX up here, SPY down here. Still the one minute, everything's good. All right, let's add our charts. We know how to do that. First, I'll highlight up here, SPX, one minute. I'll go to my indicators. I've already got them marked as favorites, but remember, you'll be looking for your indicators in your invite-only scripts. And since I'm doing the SPX up top for the morning, I'll click on SPX AM. Close that, and there it is. There's my SPX AM ready to go. And look at that, what a winner it was. Now, I'll highlight down low for my SPY. I'll go back to indicators. Remember, you'd go to invite-only scripts. I already have them marked as favorites. And I'll go to my Snipe Algo SPY AM. One click, close that window, and there it is. Now we've got the SPX one minute and the SPY one minute. Looks like they were both winners both triggering slightly different times, but what a winning day yesterday was. And of course, if we want to change our settings, you can do that by clicking right here, going to the Snipe Algo cog, and I'm going to move my dashboard to the bottom left. So dashboard size, I'll change it to medium, and I'll move it from top right to bottom left. That's just my personal preference. Put them wherever you'd like. And now that dashboard is moved down here. You can do the same by going up here, highlighting so you're in there. Click this little cog right here, and there's all your settings. So we'll set it to a medium dashboard at the bottom left. That easy. Keep in mind you can also turn all kinds of features on and off and change all of your colors as well. That's it. You're set up. You now know how to set up a SPY chart, an SPX chart, and even how to split so that you can watch SPX and SPY at the same time while the market's open. Let's go. That's it. You've got your charts. You've got your indicators. You're ready to trade. Welcome to the Snipe Algo team. I can't wait to start winning with you.